out to the crews. It's hard to say goodbye, but we'll see you tomorrow night. But now, a little Q&A, otherwise known as question and answer period. Tonight at 8 p.m., all you can eat surf and turf. No, 8 p.m. tonight, The Envy, a really, really good band. They toured with us. They happen to be on Gene's label. And they're, they're very, very good. So uh, check them out. So we're going to take questions. We're going to take questions. Who's got the microphone out there? How are we doing this? Who's I? I am. Oh. Hey, everybody. Hey, it's Craig Gass, the guy who can't do a good impersonation of me. My name's Craig Gass. I'm a stand-up comedian, as you can tell from my Mets jersey. And um, he? And your shorts. He's great. He is, this guy, this guy is... It's top notch. He really is. I'm, uh, I, I work on a couple of TV shows on Family Guy and American Dad, but I'm mostly known as a guy who's made Gene's life a living hell because I do an impression of him that's gotten him in a lot of trouble. And we are going to get started. We actually have people out here with some questions, and we're going to get started. What is your name? Donna Sarava. Say it again, Mike. Donna Sarava. All right, Donna. You, want to, you can take questions right over here. Say hello to Kiss. Uh, what made you decide to do the Kiss Cruise? Yeah, my, 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 my. What made you decide to do the Kiss Cruise? Do you know you're going to answer this or am I going to answer We wanted to do something. You know, we'd heard about people doing these kind of cruises and uh, we knew they hadn't been done right. And everybody knows that if you get a group of Kiss fans together, you never know what's going to happen. So we said, let's do this Kiss style. And that was really the start of the Kiss Navy. This is something, you know, you people will not forget this trip. And we're going to make sure that it's uh, memorable in more ways than you can imagine. And Eric's trying to, either he's trying to massage my back or he wants to whisper in my ear. Eric's actually true. You know, usually Gene will tell you he invented water. But the, Thank truth, you, the truth about this is, we wanted to do a Kiss Cruise in the 90s, oh and it hadn't come, you know, it hadn't, it wasn't in its time. So here we are on the Kiss Cruise, and this is the cruise that all other ones will be measured by. This is, this is a rock and roll cruise. We're off to a great start. And can I point out, I saw the set list that Kiss was going to do tonight. I saw the set list. They actually played seven more songs than they planned on playing um, this acoustic set. Everyone on the side of the stage is going, I guess they're going to throw in another one. I don't know. I guess, all right, that's not on the list. All right, this is Christopher. Yes. Christopher, where are you from? San Diego. From San Diego. And Christopher already has a Kiss Navy tattoo. Oh. Christopher, what is your question? I just wanted to know, which was the toughest gig that you played? The Olympics, the Super Bowl, or the Symphony? Gene, why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Well, I, I, I just work here. You never shut up. Go ahead, talk. He's married, talk now. He's married now. He's not allowed to talk. <laughs> we have to ask Shannon if he can answer that question. Shannon, what do you think? Can Gene answer the question? I was born with one asshole, now I have two. The toughest gig, actually, hand to God, it is, this, this gets cornball when somebody writes it down, ah, the guy's full of shit. It is such a privilege and an honor to get in front of you, for you to give us the time of day, much less allow us to play for you. There are no tough gigs anywhere, at any time, as long as you allow. Hey, man. Mike? Michael, where are you from? Bayshore, New York. And what's your question, Michael? What made you decide to take off your makeup for the Lick It Up album release, and ultimately which band member was instrumental in coaxing along the others? Good 
question. Um, I think around the time of, look it up, well, right around Creatures, uh, I thought we were making a great album, and I, I thought we'd r really run maybe a, a missed course. I think what we had done is we felt that when the band continued and all the original guys weren't there, we should come up with more characters. And, you know, the, the truth was, what we've always been missing until we put everything back together was those four images that are, are known worldwide. Some people may have an issue with that, and I say, you're welcome to your opinion. Go fuck yourself. But, oh, I'm so but, glad I can curse now. Thank you. But uh, truth be told, you know, what happened was, you know, we, we were, we had become a menagerie from having four characters. All of a sudden there was Caterpillar Man, you know, and Snail Boy. It really reached a point where it was losing the essence of what this band was always supposed to be about. And I'm the first person to tell you that although I came up with my makeup, I never could have done the makeup or come up with it without the other guys there. So for anybody to take credit, you know, I did this, of course she, <laughs> she takes credit for anything. But the truth is, it was a group effort that made those characters. And once we put the makeup back on for the reunion tour, it became very clear that the vast majority of people around the world wanted that to stay. And that's why each tour gets bigger and bigger. And Craig, you better learn to do a good impersonation. I'll be doing impersonating, uh, impersonations of Paul and Jean tonight. When you say it's a PG-13 show, just keep in mind there will be some language tonight. Sunday's just going to be a really, really dirty show. I might actually teabag someone on Sunday. So, just so you know. <laughs> and we have Thomas. Thomas, where are you from? New Jersey. Thomas from New Jersey. Thomas, what is your question? Oh. Classic joke. New Jersey, which exit? Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you. Thanks for six man for putting us on. This is a dream come true for me. Lifelong Kiss fan. I love you guys. Thank you. Uh, was there a time, especially in the early days when the band was struggling, uh, that you thought of ending the band and what helped you decide to keep it going, especially before Kiss Alive won? I don't want to keep answering the questions. I want some, some pearls of wisdom. We started out a long time ago. Most of you weren't born then. The first tour was 38 years ago. I was sperm back then. Yes, I know, son. How is mom, anyway? And uh, I just wanted to say, in all seriousness... You should, you should know. <laughs> in all seriousness, you're only as good as the people who are on the team, okay? We started out with four people together. Not everybody's built to run the marathon. We honor them and we continue. This is the beginning of KISS. By the way, around the world in 250 countries, the Hello Kiss, the Hello Kitty Kiss deal has just been signed so all your kids can go in there and buy everything. 250 countries, thank you. All right. So funny, you know, we got Robert coming up. Robert, where are you from? Originally from New York City, but now I live in New Jersey. Lost your job, huh? Which exit? Exit five. All right, Robert, what is your question? Uh, you guys have uh, played shows all around the world. Is there a place you haven't played yet that you'd like to? We haven't been. Uh, we haven't been to China. There, there are some some countries that we'd like to go to. We would play Israel, except then Gene would get drafted. <laughs> Eric would like to uh, play Bangkok. One of my favorite KISS gigs, MTV Video Music Awards, KISS actually played the Brooklyn Bridge. And he plans to play the Lincoln Tunnel. James is coming up. James, where are you from? You already have fans up here, James. James, where are you from? Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. And James, what is your question? This question is for Eric. You're an awesome drummer, Eric. I guarantee that. Growing up, who was your who was your guy that you patterned yourself after? Well, I never patterned myself. First, thank you for the compliment. I never patterned myself after anybody, but my favorite drummer, my dad was a band leader, so he used to take me to see big bands, and uh, he took me to see Buddy Rich when I was very young, many times. So he 
definitely had left the biggest impression on me, no doubt about it. And he probably was the greatest uh, drummer ever. Follow-up question, who's your favorite comedian? Is it anyone performing tonight in the theater? Yes, Craig Gass. Thank you, Gene. And what about me? You got some jokes? No, I've got... Gene's got a joke. Gene, tell him about right. why the women are like Jesus. Oh. No, 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 no. no, some people are religious. Come on. Jumpin' Jack Flash, his name is Craig Gass. Can I tell him the joke that you told me when I got to your house? <laughs>